The Korean people have lost the driving force behind their struggle for greater autonomy and democracy in Myanmar. Man Shah was resting on the veranda of his Thai home when two men arrived in a pickup truck. According to neighbors, one of the men walked up to the house and greeted him in Korean. The second man arrived on the scene and they both shot him with two pistols. Man Shah was the Koran National Union's third highest leader and an outspoken critic of Myanmar's rulers. They need to stop killing our people, our, to stop killing uh, our ethnic, our clan and our people. And they need to release all political prisoners. No one has claimed responsibility for the murder. It comes at a politically sensitive time in Myanmar. Just last week, the government announced dates for a referendum on a new constitution and a general election. Ethnic and pro-democracy groups say it's a sham and will only perpetuate military rule. Some Karen allege that the regime is circulating a hit list around Thailand and that Man Shah's name was on it. But his killing could also be the result of internal divisions within the group. There is someone, you know, who create problem between, you know, all the different Korean community. Because last month there is uh, assassination uh, happened in uh, inside with Timon son-in-law. As well as before this, there's also some assassination happened in those areas. There are more than a hundred ethnic minority groups in Myanmar. They make up one third of the population. Several have signed ceasefires with the government, but some, including the Koran, are still fighting. The Koran National Union and its military wing, the KLNA, have been pushing for an autonomous Koran state in the east of Myanmar since 1949. Offensives against the government forces and internal divisions have weakened its military strength over the past decade. The Koran National Union made a gentleman's agreement with the junta in 2003, but it didn't last long. Most of the Koran's senior leadership is now living in exile in Thailand. The Karen say they've endured decades of abuse by Myanmar's military. Man Shah's murder is being seen as a major loss for their ongoing struggle in their homeland. Hannah Belsher, Al Jazeera.